Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna introduce you to my friend, William Kirk from Washington Gun Law. Hey guys, Gavin you here from ultimatereloader.com. I got a special guest on the channel today, William Kirk. Thank you so much hey, for joining us. Gavin, thanks for having me here. I appreciate it. Great facility you got here, by the way. Thank you. I know a lot of you already know William Kirk because he runs the Washington Gun Law YouTube channel, which is the best place to go if you want to know what's going on. Like, what do I need to know about my gun rights? Uh, what rights do I have that are left? What are left, yeah. Right? Uh, right. What kind of legislation is going around? Um, it, it's kind of focused in Washington, but also kind of a, a national uh, selection of topics. I just saw that you talked about Illinois. Illinois, crazy California. Stuff there. Yeah, yeah. A lot of material to work with in some of those states. <sighs> yes, and we're both here in Washington State. And Washington State is a real kind of embattled territory right now. Uh, pretty much everybody on the east side of the mountains r really is pro 2A. Yeah, they live like know. Americans. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. And I spent my time uh, on the western side of the slopes, uh, you know, in the tech industry and all that. I kind of had to get out, you know, yeah. for, for a number of reasons. And so uh, I'm just really grateful for what you do because I've learned so thank much you. from your channel and it's great to meet in person. Likewise, and, yeah, thank and, you. And introduce you to people on the channel. So. In, in a nutshell, how do you describe what you do? Yeah, so, you know, what Washington gun law is really about, we say we're the home of the lawful and responsible gun owner, and that's what it is. And I do believe that the best way to ensure that you are a lawful and responsible gun owner is through education and knowledge. So what we do at Washington Gun Law is we keep you up to date on everything that you need to know from a legal perspective to make sure that you understand the laws, you know where the lines are, you know whether you're gonna scribble inside, and if you scribble outside, what's gonna happen. And unfortunately, as you know, these state legislators and the federal government for at, at times, uh, this is a bit of a moving target. Oh yeah. We, okay. And uh, they also write really poorly drafted laws. And so what part of what we do is this simple law to English translation. And the idea with Washington gun law is to keep you educated so that you know what the state of the law is at all times, and then you decide what your level of compliance is going to be. And that's one way to make sure you can maintain yourself as a lawful and responsible gun owner. Yeah, and for your average gun owning citizen, that's a complex space. Yeah. As a federal firearm licensee here at Ultimate Reloader LLC, it gets that much more complicated because there's federal law, there's Washington state law, and the intersection provides sometimes a really confusing domain. By design, too, I think. Sometimes it's by design they want right. to confuse you. And, and yeah, the FFL industry, if ever there's an industry where you have to have complete attention to detail, mm -hmm. it's with all the regulations, both on the state and the federal level. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know, knowing you and, and watching your channel has been a great thing. Now, for my audience, mm -hmm. what... Do you think are maybe like three things that your average gun owner here in the United States should be aware of? Yeah, that's a good question. Good question, Gavin. I think the three, if you really want to be the lawful and responsible gun owner, like what we preach on Washington Gun Law mm -hmm. all the time, there's three things you need to know, and you need to know these backwards and forwards. Mm -hmm. Number one, you need to know the self-defense laws in your state, and every state is unique, so you need to understand the nuances of that law. And one of the things I would tell all of your viewers is, is that you know, you guys go to the range all the time and you practice, practice, practice so that you're going to stay out of the morgue. But where do you <laughs> practice to stay out of prison? Right. Okay. And that's why you need to find an attorney in your jurisdiction that can explain the laws in your state. And you need to regularly attend so that you understand if there's any changes in the law. But you really do need to understand when can you use force? What happens if you improperly use force? What happens if you disproportionately use force? You need to understand all of that. So that's the first thing. Um, the second thing you need to understand is your state gun laws. And if ever there is a moving target, yeah. it is state gun laws. As Gavin and I can tell you from Washington State, it is a constant moving target out here. And it's always moving in the wrong direction. This is day one of the 10-day waiting period, That's right. for instance. We're yeah. recording this on New Year's Day. That's right. And so just today, if I would have come in yesterday and bought a rifle from you and my background check cleared, I could walk out of here to yesterday with it, no problem. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Today, if I walk into Gavin's shop and I buy a, uh, a rifle and he runs the background check, clears me, that's great. Awesome. I'll see you in 10 days when I get to come back and pick it up. And that's no. that way for everybody now. But surely there's an exclusion for CPL holders. Yeah. Uh, no. Exactly. There, there I is read not. the law and I'm like, there's you've got to be no. kidding me. There Every isn't. CPL holder has a whole collection of guns at home. So how does this make sense? Or what about the, the woman who is... Uh, worried about her own personal protection. You mean safety. her psycho ex-boyfriend is stalking exactly. her right now? That's, is he going to wait 10 days to right. retaliate? He's not going to wait 10 days. Unfortunately, she will. 
Um, and yeah. so, yeah, the, the problem with waiting periods is that there's absolutely not a single ounce of data that shows that it saves lives, it arguably costs lives, and the people it affects the most are the people who candidly should be defending themselves the most, mm -hmm. those in mm -hmm. uh, disadvantaged and marginalized communities. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry I got you off topic. No, that's it's a, a, it's a good yeah. topic. So self-defense <laughs> laws, state laws. You got to know your state laws. You got to carefully watch your state legislature. If you're in any kind of a state that's even mildly shaded blue, you need to very carefully watch what's happening. There is a big push for assault weapon bans, magazine bans, pre-purchasing licensing requirements, mandatory insurance, you name it. Take a look at it. If it's not in your state yet, just look at California, Illinois, or New York. Washington's rapidly approaching because it's probably coming your way soon. And then the third thing you need to understand is you need to understand the federal gun laws. Now, federal gun laws don't shift as much from a statutory standpoint, but as you know, the ATF likes to change their interpretations with things on right. many occasions. So uh, again, just to answer Gavin's questions, you got to know your self-defense laws. You got to know your state gun laws. You got to know your federal gun laws. That's how you'd say this lawful and responsible gun owner. And a great place to do that is Washington gun law, I'll have to say. Thank you. You break things down just in the nitty gritty, but just in these bite-sized pieces that I really appreciate. I appreciate you watching. I still don't understand all the legalese, but, but that's why it's good that we're friends. Well, yeah, and you know, lawyers <laughs> like to use big words like yeah. accoutrements and things like right. that because it makes us sound smarter than we really actually are. Right. So, yeah. Okay, so people want to follow you. What are all the places? That yeah, so if you want to follow us, WashingtonGunLaw.com is the website. Really, the place I'd like you to check out most is Washington Gun Law on YouTube. We also got a Twitter account at Gun Washington. And listen, some of the best video ideas that I've ever come up with were actually not my ideas. They were mm -hmm. viewers that made suggestions. So if you guys go through the library and you're like, God, I'd like to see Bill do a video on that, send me a message. I'll probably end up doing a video. And like I said, I've come up with some I haven't come up with, my viewers have come up with some fantastic ideas. Nice. Yeah. Thank you so much. Hey, Willie. thanks for having me, man. This is hey, a great place. This is what's cool about this little partnership here is William has a place that's only about 45 minutes from here. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to be get together, you know, getting together to have fun. But if there's something that you would like to see here on the channel, uh, if you have specific questions, of course, you can go over to Washington Gun Law. Uh, but if there was something that you wanted to see us break down together, please drop a comment and make that suggestion. Thanks again, William. My pleasure. That concludes this video, and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're gonna to wanna to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you wanna learn lucrative gunsmithing like what I show here on the channel, including building custom rifles and Cerakote plus a whole bunch more, you're gonna to wanna to check out the Colorado School of Trades, schooloftrades.edu. Thanks again for watching.